Hi, welcome to another video. Recently, I covered Agent Zero, which was supposed to be an all-in-one agent that could do everything. But it didn't turn out to perform that well. Today, I have something with a similar name to Agent Zero, and it also aims to do the same kind of stuff. This time, it's Agent K. Agent K is very much like Agent Zero. It has a bunch of tools that it uses to perform tasks, and it can also spawn multiple agents to do tasks as well, just like Agent Zero. But there's one key difference. Unlike Agent Zero, Agent K doesn't use Python code for everything. If you remember, Agent Zero generated Python code for almost every task and then ran it to get the output. But this one doesn't do that. Instead, it has a set of tools that it uses, avoiding the need to run code every time. So that's pretty cool. If we look at its GitHub page, it says that Agent K is an autoagentic AGI. Agent K is a self-evolving AGI made up of agents that collaborate and build new agents as needed in order to complete tasks for a user. It has four kinds of agents. The orchestrator is named Hermes, which interacts with the user to understand goals, manage the creation and assignment of tasks, and coordinate the activities of other agents. The second type of agent is the agent smith, the architect responsible for creating and maintaining other agents. It ensures agents are equipped with the necessary tools and tests their functionality. Then there's the toolmaker agent, which creates and refines the tools that agents need to perform their tasks, ensuring that the system remains flexible and well-equipped. There's also the web researcher agent, which performs in-depth online research to provide the system with up-to-date information, allowing agents to make informed decisions and execute tasks effectively. It only works with OpenAI as of now, so that's basically the gist of it. Now, let's get started and check it out. First, to make it work, make sure you have Docker installed, as it uses that to run in an isolated environment. If you don't have that, then get it installed. Once that's figured out, clone this repo on your computer. Once done, move the env template file to the env file. Now, open it up. Over here, enter your OpenAI API key and remove these variables. Once done, save it. Now, go back to the terminal and run the peep install command. This will install the dependencies. Once everything is installed, we can start using it. To use it, just run agent k like this. Now, we can start using it. First, let's ask it the same thing as in the demo, which is asking for a quote of the day. Let's send it. It's doing some stuff and using tools. I guess we'll need to wait a bit, since it will search the web, fetch pages, and stuff like that. So, we'll need to wait a bit. Okay, it's done. It's showing the quote pretty well, and also shows the results and stuff, which is pretty cool. Now, let's try something else. Let's ask it for the current time in Sweden. Let's send it over here. It's doing some things again. Let's wait a bit. Okay. It did multiple things like searching and crawling, but it wasn't able to do it. It ultimately failed and told me to search it myself, which is obviously a fail. I guess it cannot do much more complex searching and stuff. Now, I want to see if it can create files and stuff or not. So, let's ask it to make a file. Let's send the prompt over here. It's doing some stuff again. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it has now completed the process, but it wasn't able to do anything. It just errored out and failed. So, I guess it can't do much else either. Since it can do some web research and stuff, let's give it this article and ask it to summarize it. Let's send the prompt over here. Let's see if it can do this or not. It will take some time. Let's wait. Okay, it's done. 
and this time it worked. It gave a pretty good summary of the article, which is quite good, I guess. So, it's at least capable in that sense. Now, it wasn't able to create the file, but maybe if we ask it to generate code and put it inside the file, it can do that. So, let's ask it to make a landing page and put it in a file. Okay, let's send it over here. It's doing the same stuff again. So, let's see if it can do this or not. So, it's done, and again, it wasn't able to do this. So, it's not worth the effort. Now, I also want to check if it can do research on topics. Let's ask it to tell us about Llama 3.1. Let's send the prompt over here. It's doing its stuff again. Let's wait a bit. Okay, here's the answer. This looks pretty good. So, at least it can do pretty good research. Plus, you can also get these URLs and links with it as well, which is also cool. From my experience, whenever it tries to make its own tool with Agent Smith, it just fails badly and is unable to do it. So, although it claims that it's an AGI framework and whatnot, it can't do anything that something else can't do insanely better. So, this is not a good agent in any sense. There are only claims, and in reality, it doesn't do anything. I had the same complaint with Agent Zero as well. I mean, before releasing something and claiming that it's an AGI framework and whatnot, people should first check it themselves. I mean, at least the proposition of the thing should be clear, like what the thing is supposed to do. In this case, when I ask it to create a file, it can't do that. When I ask it to get current time, it cannot do that. So, it has a very long way to go from here. I think that it can get better if executed correctly. I like its proposition that it can make its own tools and stuff. But it's just too early. And there isn't a good implementation for it yet. Overall, it's not cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider taking up a membership on my channel through the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.